podcasting from Woodstock, Georgia. Welcome to Soul Solutions, the show where we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs. I'm your host, author, and certified life coach, Terry Kozlowski. Hello, warriors. Do you have issues saying no to others? Are you allowing drama into your life because you can't set personal boundaries? If so, you can take my course, The Guide to Setting Personal Boundaries, on mastermind.com. The link is in the show notes. You can begin the new year with less drama in your life. Now let's start this week's episode. Episode 74. It's helpful to envision your future so you can live out your dreams. It's time to reflect on the past year and envision what could be in the new year. What were the fond memories created this year that you reminisce about in the future? What were the lessons you learned which you will take with you as you move forward? Finally, ponder the goals achieved and why some objectives weren't realized as the year closes. What dreams do you have as you look forward to the new year? What are you excited to do in 2022? I don't make New Year's resolutions. I instead do a happiness project. Therefore, each month I pick an area I want to improve, and for 30 days, that is where my focus is. So for example, my theme is clean slate for next month. Each week I will concentrate on one area like completion and how to bring things to a close. Then the next week, I'll work on clearing my mind of all beliefs that will no longer serve me. After that, I'll look at new beginnings, and finally, the last week of the month, I'll see about repacking my baggage in a way to lighten my load in the new year. Other themes include loving myself, being determined to be my authentic self, balance, and cultivating growth. Each month, I purposely create the life I want to live by doing this process. I'm currently envisioning how I want my life to be as I move from month to month in the new year. Envision your future. When planning a road trip, most people do a bit of preparation. What route to take, where to stay, what they're going to do, and deciding where to eat. But do you plan for the coming year of your life? You may think about some things like vacations and memorable days, but do you consider mapping out your future so you don't relive your past? Many people move through their life as a routine, surviving one day after another, but not actually living or thriving. So expanding your vision of the future means you see the full range of possibilities beyond the present daily habits with anticipation of the limitless potential in front of you. To create the life of your dreams, you have to envision what you desire. Then, once you have the picture in your heart, you can shape your life as you please. Remember, life isn't about doing, it's about being. Becoming your authentic self is purposeful and action-oriented in the sense of removing masks and armor so you can be yourself. So what do you want to be? What do you want to explore? How can you shine your light? As you answer these questions, investigate ways to add these factors into your routine so you are decisively building the life you love. Otherwise, you aren't creating anything new for your life, but repeating the days, weeks, and years of the past. And no one wants to reiterate a life they aren't passionate about. Envisioning allows for wisdom to flow. Did you know that the Latin root for vision is vis, which means supernatural seeing? This origin implies that the ability to envision your future is a soulful quality of the heart, not the egoic mind. Why? Because your dreams scare your ego. There could be missteps, risks, discomfort, and strangers involved. The ego doesn't want you to venture into the unknown, and all adventures require moving into the unfamiliar. But when you allow yourself to live authentically, you follow your heart as you listen to the whispers of your soul. And this allows your innate wisdom to rise and flow from within you. It comes out as creativity in new ways of doing things. 
changes in perspective, and the ability to pivot and adapt to changing circumstances while staying in flow with the universe. When you are passionate about your vision, you have perseverance. Why? Because your heart is pulling you towards your dream. You don't have to push yourself. Instead, you are inspired to move forward because you are as excited about the journey as you are about reaching the destination. Therefore, you will take action to achieve the desired outcome. You'll be able to look at the risk, the uncomfortable activities, and new people in your life with excitement, not fear. What do you want to envision? Your vision will inspire you and keep your energy level high because you're naturally excited about the day before you. In addition, it provides guidance when you take a misstep or have a choice to make and gives purpose to your endeavors. When framing your dream, think about the following principles. Make sure you envision your goals with parameters of what you're passionate about and are within your values. You don't want to reach the objective and feel immoral about achieving it. You want to keep it simple and focused. Why? Because you want to have it roll off your tongue when you need to remind yourself what your efforts are moving towards. And if it's too broad, you may not know you've attained the goal. Be sure it's constructive. You want your aspirations to benefit not only yourself, but others. When you serve others, you allow them to see your inner light shine. Have it be bold and inspirational. You want to grow as you move towards your dreams so you're prepared for it when you reach your new reality. Likewise, you ignite others' inner passions and authenticity when what you envision inspires them. Have it be engaging. What do I mean by this? Is that you may not know the steps to take to get to the end result you're envisioning, but you have ideas how to take the first step. And once you get started, the other actions seem to just naturally flow because the process is fascinating and excites you. Developing your vision for your life. First, get quiet and go within so you can hear the whispers of your soul. Then ask yourself questions like, what inspires you? What are you passionate about? And what can you lose time doing? Now consider the following areas of your life and how you want them to be better. Number one, heal emotional wounds. Remember I said I would spend a week clearing out old belief systems in January? Well, sometimes generational patterns of behavior come from your childhood. As a result, negative thoughts, destructive behaviors, and prejudices are learned. Therefore, they have to be dealt with and healed to improve your life. Only then can you be authentically you when you achieve your goals. Number two, be open to all possibilities. The only limits to what you can envision are those you self-impose. So dream big. Don't let the ego allow fear or lack of confidence to keep you from being bold. Remember, when you're feeling uncomfortable, you need to grow to achieve your dreams. Number three, find your tribe. When you seek like-minded people, you expand your opportunities and your reach. They will also encourage you and give you perspective. Keep in mind, you may have to seek new people for your tribe because others may not support your growth. Number four, don't look backward. Your dreams are in front of you, not behind. Therefore, looking at the past isn't beneficial. Instead, apply the lessons you've learned and try new ways of doing things. Number five, how is the new you physically? You want your body to be healthy to enjoy your journey. Therefore, look for ways to improve your nutrition, add more restful sleep, and get your body moving with some exercise. Number six, add self-care practices to your life. Things like meditation, journaling, and hobbies are great self-care practice to add to your life to help you de-stress and relax. Give yourself me time so you can refuel to pursue your dreams. Number seven, how is your financial fitness? What can you do not only to live within your means, but also prepare for a better future? 
Can your passion project be a side hustle? Number eight, improve your relationships. When you are becoming more authentic, others will notice and your bonds with them will either strengthen or weaken. Why? Because some will open up and the relationships will improve and others will not like the changes in you. And that's okay. Not everyone in your life is meant to be there in your future. Number nine, add adventure. When you explore possibilities, be open to try new things. And when you go into uncharted territories, it can be exciting and a little scary. But stay with the excitement and do it anyway. Number 10, be flexible. As you take this journey towards what you envision, be willing to adapt and pivot. The universe is conspiring with you, so unexpected circumstances may arise that show a better opportunity. Don't be rigid and think there's only one path to your dream, because there are many. Take action towards your dreams. Now you've envisioned what you want your life to look like, so it's time to take action. The first step is to write it down or create a vision board. This action helps you to encapsulate the goal in a creative form, which assists with getting you in flow with the universe. In addition, it allows vividness of the dream to be at the forefront of your mind. I do both. I write a statement in my planner and then create my vision board, which becomes the screensaver on my computer for the entire year. This way I have constant reminders of what I envision and work towards each day. When I have a misstep, they remind me that there are many paths towards my goals. Keep in mind your vision is yours and others may not be able to see it. The universe gave it to you, not to them. Some people won't understand and may discourage you. Learn to turn down the volume of these voices as you learn to recognize who you have to set personal boundaries with. That's why you need your tribe, because they will reassure you. The voice you need to listen to is your soul. It will continue to whisper to you, but you have to take the time to hear what it's saying. The more you consciously choose to follow your heart, the less you'll be concerned about what others think, and you'll learn to trust yourself more, which increases your self-confidence. Moving forward with your vision. You decide every day how you will live your life. But are you intentionally creating the life you desire? Everyone has processes they use to choose or determine a course of action. Let the soul guide you to do those things you dream instead of allowing the ego to keep you reliving the past. To transform into the new year, you need to leave a part of yourself behind. You must release the past let go of limiting beliefs, and unlearn those things that no longer serve you. The price you pay for a new vision, new goals, and a better life is to leave some things behind so you can move forward. As you realize the power of your intentions and become conscious of your mindset, you can alter it for the next year. Do you need help to envision your future? Do you need support in developing the action steps to pursue your dream? If so, please get in touch with me and we can put together an action plan for you to be authentically you and make your dream come true for the new year. If you want to learn how I envisioned my life after trauma, you can do so by reading my book, Raven Transcending Fear. The link is in the show notes. Or you can go to raventranscendingfear.com. Thanks for listening to Soul Solutions with Terry Kozlowski. If you'd like the show and want to learn more, check out terrykozlowski.com where you can find the links to everything we talked about in this episode. Please subscribe to the show so you'll never miss an episode as we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs.